Hello and welcome back to Stalker COP. If you were here last time, you might have remembered a slightly abrupt ending. Uh, the game crashed and took with it a very large portion of my computer. In fact, it crashed it. Okay, before we have a repeat, I really think I should turn that radio off, because I think that's what caused it. Anyways, this is Beard, he's got a beer and stalker aid and other random stuff. He'll also give us quests and whatnot. Primarily, the quest that we will be doing for him is going to be about a strange phenomenon in a uh, nearby boat. Skadovsk won't be going anywhere, that's for sure. And this guy. Nah. That's the guy that we need the quest for, the uh, the poison gas stuff that I was wandering into constantly and dying from. You know, me being brilliant and all that. Now, do we want to store any of this stuff? Yeah, I think I want to store that. I don't... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to be giving that up. Uh, we'll store the Vintar. And that should be that. Now, under normal circumstances, you take artifacts and you give it to uh, Beard when he specifically asks for them, and you would get a uh, bonus. However, we're not going to be doing that. Because rather than give it to him for money, we're going to be putting them into here. This thing creates spare parts, which we can then use to modify our equipment. In addition, uh, yeah, you know what, I never use those things anyways. In addition to the parts, if you get 80 spare parts at a time, you will unlock that the uh, specific person's uh, uh, achievement. That's a pretty hefty amount. I'll be. Yeah, there. Yeah, that jumped up a pretty good good amount. Now, we want to get to 80, there, because, let's see, where is it, oh, 85, no, nope, wait, that's the wrong one, it's over here, yeah, we need uh, 80 boxes of spare parts to one of the mechanics, and they'll give a massive discount on repairs and mods. This is actually a lot better than you think, because it pretty much brings it down to like 10%, 1% of what they normally would. And that means you can actually repair up armor that you find, and then sell it and make a profit. It also means that modifications to guns won't be retardedly expensive. The GPS conductors that we'll be finding as well uh, gives us... Well, I'll, I'll s talk about that when we get there. For now, just assume that the GPS things are for navigating. So, did you find anything out about Magpie? I've asked everywhere, but it's useless. What's up? Nobody knows you the You wanted are suffering it's from radiation something. That sanity bitch is going to regret running away. Hey there. Hang in there, buddy. The doc said you'll be up in your feet in a couple of days. You might as well use this time to rest up and chill. Yeah, come on. Hey, stalker. Yeah. Come here. I got a question for you. Yes, I know. You want me to find Magpie. Magpie's quest, I can't uh, actually complete that yet. That's because... Well, yet again, you'll find out when we get there. For now, however, we... Uh, we 
look pretty well off. No. Eat one of my tourist breakfast. Well, good luck to you. And we will be moving on. First thing we will be doing. Wondering why there's 50 tons of dogs. I think I'll quick save. And we got a pretty decent gun, that's good. Because we're gonna need it. Now we want to get over here. This is our first quest. Inside the uh, the building is an artifact that we need. And the artifact itself, while useless, will give us a decent amount of money for Beard and unlock his uh, artifact quest. This will also give us a couple other things, but uh, for a completely different reason. Oh, I see that. Something special about our artifacts is that if you are paying enough attention, you can tell exactly where they are by just looking in their direction. For instance, there's one right there. You can see it, see it rippling in the water. For the most part, they're invisible, but... If you're savvy enough, you can usually see them. Let's see. Anything directly in front of me? Nope. I don't think I can detect this one, though. Doesn't seem to be showing up in the, uh... Whoa! Oh, it's detecting that one. Never mind. Okay, there's a bit of radiation in this area, so I guess we should get moving. Uh, yeah, we'll do that in a sec. First, let's get into here. Head up here and pick up the altered steering wheel artifact. This one's just radioactive. I think. Yes, this one's just horribly, horribly radioactive. I'm going to quick save here because this guy is going to immediately ask us, hey, could you give us that artifact? Yeah, we need the money because somebody needs help. He's lying. And then I tell him I haven't walking. seen it. You'll remember this moment, that's for sure. There did he. Now, these guys, pretty good for uh, early equipment. There's three other guys trying to bait out the other guy over here. Whoops. My aim is terrible. Ow. Where'd that other guy go? Oh! There you are. Okay. There's one more. He's up here. Attention stalkers! An emission is approaching! Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Seek cover immediately. Damn. Okay, we are going to have to move quickly then. Okay, an emission's pretty much going to obliterate me at this point in the game, but I really want what's up there. Oh no! No, no, don't hurt me, please. So we're going to get up here real quick. Ah, you got to be kidding me, it's not here! Body's down there, though. So we'll head down here, break our legs, eat some anti-rads, and his body landed on the opposite side. Of course it did. Okay. 
No way, Will. Uh, no way. There's something else here. There it is. Okay. Now we flee. <laughs> oh boy. And a mission is a giant wave of murderous death. And we don't want to be standing inside that. Not yet. Probably should have made a quick stop somewhere else to prevent me from uh, having to do this. In fact, I wanted an emission early on, but not this early. Emissions also uh, regen all of the uh, artifacts in the random areas, so... If you do manage to get into one and you survive it, look around at the, the various artifact spawning areas and you should be able to get uh, a new one at least. Welcome aboard our swamp icebreakers. <laughs> How did you do that? You were just... Never mind. Yeah, found the artifact at the station, blah blah blah, he'll tell me about a random thing. Tell me what it's like here. Ah, that's okay, see you next time. Talk to him again. What artifacts do you need? Bubble of flames, see ya. Blah, 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 blah. Someone just got completely obliterated out there. How are you? And now we'll be talking to this guy. Whoop. Oh, whoa. Stalkers, the emission is finally over. I hope you're all in one piece. Okay. Yeah, you didn't want to talk to me yet. That figures. So, who do I... Oh, right. I forgot to talk to this guy. He's going to tell me that the package I, I was given at the beginning of the game doesn't mean anything because he's not going to give any money, blah, blah, blah. He's going to give me some information that's useless. And then I talk to this guy. And this guy wants a special artifact that's in a specific place. Go pick up the artifact. It's incredibly valuable, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what did we pick up while we were out there? Uh, armor same kind of armor we already have. So we'll just stash away anything useful. Hmm. No. Actually, you know what? I'll just toss that in with the rest of the stuff. Yeah. That seems like a good idea. Break over here. Toss all this random stuff that we found. I don't like using grenades, so I usually just toss them in here. I don't even know if they uh, properly calculate thingies or whatever. Oh, wait, no, I want this. Yeah. You can have that gun, though. Shotgun. And you can have... I didn't actually want to double click that. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. How? Hey, how's it going? Brought you tools. One for basic work. See you next time. Oh, wait. Guy, well, sure, I'll keep the next time. See you next time. Okay. I know I sound a little bit mixed up, but I've, I've done this a couple times already, and it's, uh, It's a bit hard to remember what I should and shouldn't actually be demoing. For instance, that thing I just used enhances the specific weapon type that it says it enhances. In this case, it enhanced the, uh, the, the TOS, or the TOZ. It spits bullets out at other people. Now that we've done that, Sultan wants to talk to me. 
He wants me to attack a bunch of people. 